People are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. This is it. The last moments of spoon-fed creativity. Would you like to say any words to mark the occasion? <laughs> With user manuals between your teeth, you speak only in vowels. Trying to say something? Can't think of anything to say. We have front row seats for this theater of mass destruction. The Demolitions Committee of Project Mayhem has the next client for the Bear Track server set to light it up with a doomsday style level of voltage. The sort that would start a three alarm fire. I know this because Tyler knows this. And suddenly I realize that all of this, the mischief, the confusion, the removal of purpose, has something to do with my inherent procrastination. Bob, Bob was cross-eyed. This was a lecture in drawing feelings using crayons. The glassy-eyed vessel staring through me is Bob. This is compassion. Um, yeah. Eight months ago, Bob failed hard out of engineering. Then came probation. He went cross-eyed chasing a programming deadline. He could no longer look anyone in the eye. And that was where I fit, floating between those two vacant, glassy eyes. The way you'd think of a cow's is vacant. Okay. Now you do. No, wait. Back up. Let me start over again. For six months, I couldn't work. I couldn't work. When scribing, no assignment is real. Everything's just a copy of a copy of a copy. When we graduate, it will be the management that describes our work and purpose. Forward-thinking positivism. Proactive mindshare. Mission statement fulfillment. Only five assignments this week, <coughs> plus labs. He was optimistic. Must have worked all weekend. Like so many others, I had become a slave to the copy nesting instinct. If I saw something clever, like an insulated cup holder that hung from your monitor, I had to have it. Like the curved, split-style, soft-touch keyboard. The custom UV-lit aluminum case. The Mini Mouse Arena, complete with cord guide and environmentally friendly polyfoam wrist cushion. I would walk through the aisles of computer stores and wonder, what mouse pad style defines me as a person? I used to browse pornography. Now it was the Future Shop catalog. I had it all, even the tinted glare screen, protecting your eyes from fatigue, overuse, and 18 spectral ranges of... whatever. No, you can't die of engineering. Hey, I'm really losing my grip on reality here. You want to see people with no grip on reality? Try going to the Humanities Center Wednesday night. People attending Freedom and Wax lectures. Reality has no meaning there. And this red over here represents suffering and pain and all the things that are bad in the world. But I decided to put some blue here to remind me of all the things that are good and the hope that's still inside of me. And over here I have the sunshine that's, that reminds me that I don't need to cry every time that somebody makes me, makes me use a calculator. <laughs> Everyone, let's thank Christoph for sharing his feelings. Thank you. Man. Thanks, Christoph. I look around and I see a lot of bottled up feelings. Everyone, try and find a partner and let's share some wax. And this is how I met the space cadet. Doodling hand ready, staring at the floor. Bob made it to the fourth year compi. Remember all those poems about first order predicate logic written on the bathroom stalls in ETLC? That was him. I was pulling an 8.5 GPA, but I was a juicer. You know, caffeine? I was using the stuff they use on narcoleptics. <sighs> now I'm broke, I'm expelled, and I have to write Turbo Pascal on Apple IIe's just to make ends meet. Go ahead, do it. You can color now. And then, something happened. I let go. Lost in all those colors, red and orange and blue, I found freedom. Losing all hope was freedom. Eng fizzers don't work this hard. I became addicted. Every fluffy tuition trap in the book became my therapy. They created. Then I worked. I wasn't really in arts. I didn't want to make my family go teeny or paint with my feet. I was a Teflon-coated body to which bullshit would not stick. Every afternoon I was brain dead. And every evening I was useful again.
Customer has asked you to design a phone number lookup system with 24-bit addressing, but marketing insists that our brand new platform is strictly 32-bit. Resolve this issue by leveraging your design savvy and networking skills. Project management question with digital design pretenses. Do you know why you can't take this course without feeling like you're in a cubicle? No, why? Because they don't need this many engineers. They need technical managers. Did you know 90% of all engineers become management within the first eight years? No, I didn't know that. Better start saving up for that super, man. Maybe I will, Mr. And this is how I met. Tyler Durden. How I came to live with Tyler is, CopSci has this policy about assignment deadlines. 11.59, midnight, and it has to work on their computers. Heating meant to crash on for the night. On the floor? You kidding? Come on, I want to show you something. All the machines you could ask for, and the lights never go out. I want you to do me a favor. What is this? Tech and tag? Don't tell me you've never played this before. Sure, the single player. Never against someone. How much can you know about a game until you've played it against somebody else? Can't we just be on the same team? I want you to hit me. What? I want you to hit me as hard as you can. With what? Surprise me. Listen to this. It's an article written by a piece of hardware in the first person. I am Jack's IDE cable. Without me, the hard drive can't talk to the motherboard. There's a whole series of these. I'm Jack's keyboard. I'm Jack's plug and play CD burner. Yeah, I get rubber on the road. I make coasters. Gentlemen. Welcome to Bike Club. First rule of Bike Club is, you do not talk about Bike Club. Second rule of Bike Club is, 
you do not talk about Bike Club. Third rule, no aimbots, no wall hacks. Fourth rule, your opponent hits pause, you can go to the bathroom, one break each. Fifth rule, games will go on as long as they have to. So red eyes are your problem, remember to blink. Sixth and final rule, if this is your first year in engineering, you have to play. Do it! Do it! It's me, Pop. Hey, are you still going to Freedom and Wax? Nah, I got something much better now. What's that? Well, the first rule is, I'm not supposed to talk about it. And the second rule is, I'm not supposed to talk Bob, about Bob, it. Bob, Bob, look at my hands. I'm a member. That's fuck. That's fucking great. Have you heard about the founder, Tyler Durden? Supposedly, supposedly, he was born in Pinoca. Sleeps only one hour a night and can program his sleep. He's a great man. I'm headed there right now. You up for some? Lead me to it. I look around. I look around and I see a lot of new faces. <laughs> Shut up! This means a lot of you have been breaking the first two rules of Bike Club. I look around and I see Squander. An entire generation of engineers working tech support, writing databases, slaves to management. The entire department has us taking courses we don't need, so we can get jobs that we don't want. We're the middle children of technology, herded into a program for a job market that no longer exists. We've been raised on media reports, had the t-shirt and denim clad Silicon Valley mogul dangled in front of us. We were led to believe that we'd be the rock stars of technology, but we won't. We're slowly learning this fact, and we're very pissed off about it. Yeah! This week, each one of you has a homework assignment. Make that number fucking A! Shut up! Each of you are gonna go out and start a conversation with a female that you've never met. You're going to start a conversation, and you're going to get slapped. dreamed up new homework assignments. We were becoming new men. The more we broke the rules, the more we learned that there were no rules. The eyes that we thought were watching us were blind. Success was no longer a collection of assignment marks. Lying. Cheating. Drinking. Stealing. Drinking. Betrayal. Major decisions are only made in one location anyway. Where's all this headed, Tyler? It's setting us free. She knew that all along. Fucking bear tracks? Just the beginning, my friend. Imagine. No faculties, no program. Just you and I and the wires. You're attacking the registrar's office? Why? Think. No timetables. No grades. What are you? 
I don't know, experience, knowledge? No. You're a student, nothing more. No different from anyone else. There's ultimate equality without records. Everyone goes back to zero. We can't look down on the science. Science can't look down on the arts. No distinction, no elitism. What matters is, is what's between your ears, not the job you're told to have. The post-internet age fluff fitting into our digital highway rest stops is meaningless. Leave the superhighway gas station management to Nate. We can do better. We're supposed to be forging new paths, not troubleshooting yesterday's fuck-ups. This is it. The last moments of spoon-fed creativity. Would you like to say any words to mark the occasion? I think this is about where we came in. Try and say something? Still can't think of anything to say. Time to say goodbye to your precious box. No, Tyler, I don't! Think. And in that second, I saw everything. Everything that was wrong with what I was doing with my life. The courses that didn't matter, the career I didn't want, the foreseeable waste that would be my future. This wet mass is not your asset.